What's up, Warhawk Nation? Coach Slavin back with uh, Softball Chats and Snacks. This is episode 7, and I'm here with Kelsey Ahart. What's up? Welcome to the show. <laughs> so, in true form and fashion, we're still picking out of our yum box. This one's from Greece. And <clears throat> she's playing it safe today, going with the chocolate chip cookie. <laughs> What do you, what, what's it say? Um, it's a King Soft Cookie Dark Chocolate Chunks, and it's in passion, and there's some other words in here that aren't English. It says they've chosen the best non-melty options. Non-melty. <laughs> um, made with delicious dark Belgian chocolate. With a bit of salt and vanilla, this cookie is loads better than anything you'll find in the domestic grocery store. Mmm, that's all the important stuff. So yeah, chocolate chip cookie from Greece. You gonna open it or am I? <laughs> I can't open it. I didn't know when you wanted me to open it. Wow, it's got straight up chunk. I'm just going to go ahead and take that. <laughs> There's a chunk of chocolate just hanging off the side of the cookie. I'll eat that. You open it and it's just like Well, you're not going to split it? Yeah. All right, well, we got to show the people. All right, it looks like a chocolate chip cookie. It's really soft. It kind of has the consistency of like a devil's food. You open it and like the chocolate smell just slaps you in the face. It does. It smells really good. Hopefully it tastes the same. Pretty good. Oh, I oh. bet mine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It'd be weird to dink it after I already <laughs> put it in my mouth. Okay. I could eat one of these every day for the rest of my life. It's pretty good. It's not, not too bad. Alright, so Kelsey, tell everybody who you are, where you're from, what you're doing here. Give me a second. You can talk with your mouth full, because that's what I do. Um, do I have chocolate in my teeth? No, you're good. Okay. So, um, I'm Kelsey. I'm do I have chocolate in my teeth? Yes. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm Kelsey. I'm from Angleton, Texas, which is south of Houston. A little podunk little town. I'm glad I got out of it. Um, Angleton is a little town? Little-ish. Small. Smaller than Abilene. Okay. It's small to me. I don't know. But, um. I've never been there, so. I don't know. Um. I went to Kilgore for two years. Played softball there, and. Now I'm here in Abilene. I've been Murray. Welcome. Alright, so what are you studying here at McMurray? Um, I'm majoring in kinesiology, and at first I was, like, really bouncing back and forth of what I wanted to do because I thought I wanted to do like a, like a camp director position but I did some research and like the benefits and stuff like that wasn't all the way there that I need to support myself so but I do love softball just as much as I love like camp and children and stuff so I want to coach college softball when I graduate wants to be a coach it's a good life <laughs> Can't lie. Can't lie. It's great. Great stuff. Yeah. Um, I've got to play softball. I've got to call softball as an umpire. i got to watch softball. Now all there's left is to coach it. So. Coach it. Kelsey's going to be an awesome coach. She's very outgoing, <laughs> very loud. Um, you think I'm loud? She can, get, uh, she can get you out of your own head by putting just the most random <laughs> facts and fiction in there to... <laughs> Take out the whatever you're trying to concentrate on. So, oh man. So what's been something that was like a pleasant surprise coming to McMurray? Pleasant surprise. I would have to say like how well knitted everyone is on the team. Like I've never had. I've had some good coaches that like with good chemistry but I really like the chemistry that we have here and how like y'all talk to us like you we can talk to y'all as if we're your friends but also like we respect y'all and y'all respect us back in certain situations that 
I need to be taken serious. But I like how it's not serious all the time. Because I'm not serious all the time. I mean, it is a game. Yeah. So it's supposed to be fun. But if you want to be competitive, you got to put some work in, too. Yeah. So it's a, it's a balance, and I feel like we walk that line pretty good most of the time. We're not perfect yet. <laughs> most of the time, yeah. we, we like to think we do a pretty good job of that. So. Yeah. What about something that was unexpected? I've never been on a team with, like, over 24 girls. So 31 was, like, a huge difference. I mean, it's just a few more girls, but I've never had, like, a big team like that. But it's been cool to, like, see everyone else's, like, personality and, like, their background come together. Everyone respects everyone, and it's it's really cool to learn where everyone else is from and how they did things growing up. Like, me and Em are from different parts of Texas, and, like, she does stuff different, and I do stuff different. It's really cool, like, coming together and seeing how we can do things, and I can't think of the word, but it's there. <laughs> so. uh, what's the biggest difference between... Four year school and a JUCO so far, in your opinion? Um, well, at JUCO, I, like the day we moved in, the next day we started softball. And here we moved in, and I kept asking, like, the girls that were returners, like, so when do we start practice? And they're like, we don't start for a while. And I was like, this is so weird. Like, just going to a school and not having practice right away. And like not having a hundred games in the fall and a hundred games in the spring and stuff like that. It's just like the amount of time is different. Like you, the amount of time you had to put in a JUCO, and then here like the amount of time like you want to put in. And so it's been really cool like being on a team where everyone like wants to be here. And so whenever I want to go hit or go do like defensive work at ten o'clock at night, I'll text some of the girls and some of the baseball players and see if they want to go hit the cages. We all meet up and we hit for a few hours, so it's pretty cool. That is one of the biggest differences in uh, an NCAA school versus a JUCO or an NAIA. Is we're very limited and they're very strict on uh, the amount of days that we can work softball with our kids. So that is a so it was a big jump. Big adjustment coming from a JUCO for sure. Um, you got to be willing to put the work in on your own at uh, NCAA Division Three. For sure. For sure. For sure. All right. So, what about the school side of it? Uh, the professors here have been really nice to me. Um, like super nice. Whenever some stuff was going on, I emailed them about it, and they were really willing to work with me. And one of my professors told me to not to go to class that day to take the day off to get my mind back right after my car had been broken into and uh, he was super nice about it let me re take the test on Thursday during his office hours I have Pug she's awesome so that's been really cool experiencing stuff with her I always stop by her office and talk to her just like the staff up here is super awesome so the staff at Kilgore we were always so busy with softball I never got to go to their office hours or talk to them after class because it was like class, wait, class, practice, and then study hall. And just You never had time to like interact with the professors the way you do here. So that's that's cool too. So I don't know if you know this or not, but Pug's going to actually do some traveling with the softball team this year. So no way. We're super excited to have that's Pug. Awesome. Um, Pug's a, a legend here. Um, yeah. Big, She's big supporter awesome. of softball. And a terrific professor. Just don't pull your phone out in her class, no. or you will not be in her class anymore. Yeah. Bye, kids. <laughs> so, just a little warning for you guys. Um, yeah. So, Kelsey's going to fill a couple different roles for us on the field. A little behind the plate, a little first base. Um, hopefully bring a big bat to our lineup. And... Uh, we're excited. We're excited about this year. I'm super excited. I feel like we have a really good group that came in, and I like everyone's attitude. I like how everyone isn't, like, against each other. It's, like, with each other because I've been on teams where if there was, like, 
two of everywhere. They were competing against each other for the position instead of competing with each other. And that's, I feel like that's a big thing as a team because that just causes problems when you're trying to fight someone for a position instead of fighting with them. Because it's y'all against the other team, not y'all two against each other. So that's a big thing that I've noticed here. Competition will drive performance as long as you don't let it get negative. Yeah. So we want to always try to be positive. And if you're good, having somebody else who's good to push you will only make you better. So that's our view on uh, competition and having a, having depth. And, yeah. You know, having depth on the team is also good. If somebody gets hurt, then you have somebody just as good to come in and you For don't sure. fall off. So Yeah, I like how I can text one of the girls and say, hey, like, can you work with me on this? Because, like, we – we all have a weakness that's someone else's strength. So we can all like work together to get better in those areas that we're weak in. So we have the rest of the fall and a little bit of the spring at the beginning to get that correct before we start playing and winning these games. So. Absolutely. All right. Favorite movie? Oh, gosh. Um, Can it be a cartoon? Yes. Okay. I really like Coco. Coco? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. I haven't, I haven't seen that one. Oh, I cry every time I watch it. It's so sad. Oh, it's a tearjerker? Yeah, All for right, sure. I'm not watching it. I'm a, I'm a big baby, too. <laughs> I'm not a scary movie person, either. So. Favorite, favorite food? Goodness. Um, I like Italian food. Dream so, car. Dream car? Um, um, a Jeep. Place you most want to visit? Alaska. I definitely want to see the Northern Lights before. Bro, I seeing the Northern Lights, it's legit. I want to see them so bad. Yes. I went to Alaska in September of 2016 and saw the Northern Lights and a big old bear. It was okay. kind of scary. Yeah, big bear. Oh, gosh. I've, I've always wanted to see Northern Lights. So ever since I was Brother Bear. Not the general. <laughs> I have that movie. You got two <laughs> little kids, one. so it's a good one. I watch lots of cartoons. I am a little kid, so I watch lots of cartoons. All right, Kelsey Ahart, ladies and gentlemen, any final words for for our viewers? Um, stay in school. Stay in school. <laughs> also, I don't know if you guys were were able to hear a lot of beeping. Um, construction type noise they're pouring the slab for the dugouts like right now as we speak awesome so we're getting there if you haven't checked out the time lapse you can check out the time lapse on our Twitter at hashtag McMurray tribe or on our Facebook um, McMurray softball on Facebook so check those out if you haven't um, it's pretty cool pretty cool so Thanks for being on the show. Thanks for having me. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next episode of uh, Softball Chats and Snacks. Hawk'em.